Hey everyone, Todd here, internalarchitect.com. In this video, I'm going to talk about grief. Now, there's been a lot of things going on, and there's been a lot of changes happening as we are, everyone is following the coronavirus uh, stats and graphs and everything that's going on. And I want to, I want to bring this to kind of a different level um, for those of you that are dealing with cancer or help also put it in perspective for those of you that may not be but can under help I guess understand what us that are going through cancer are experiencing right now now before I begin hit subscribe below and hit the bell for notifications so you know when I put out a new video now <clears throat> This uncomfortable feeling that we're feeling is grief. It is, um, you, you tend to think that grief comes from an area of loss and, and an area of um, kind of devastation. And really that's what's kind of happening right now. You know, the past number of years have been really good. We've seen a lot of really good things happening and you know, our economy's been great. Our, our, our um, for the most part, our health. Obviously, I was re-diagnosed last summer, but those are those that was all happening beforehand. So, but you know, all this, there was no real sign of of what was going to be changing because there was just a lot of there was just a lot of stuff happening uh, that was good, and there wasn't really anything showing anything different, right? And in the course of a couple of weeks, our lives turned around. Um, snap of a finger, really. And now we're, a, a huge majority of Americans are sitting inside. Um, and they're starting to feel all the different stages of what grief is. And, you know, it's, it's kind of one of those things. Our minds know that something happened. And you know, essentially our safety has been kind of... Um, tarnished at this point, you know, everything that we know, everything that we could explain and, and really feel like things were good has gone out the window. And that's why it's really a, a tough time for everyone. And it's not just cancer survivors, it's, it's everyone in America is really, really having a hard time understanding this feeling. And as cancer patients and survivors, we can kind of relate to this a little bit more so than other people only for the fact that we deal with this more than everyone else we deal with the different stages of grief because of what what it's like to go through through cancer and through the the process of being diagnosed and the mental struggles that come along with that also and that's why it's like really hard to face all these different stages and you know um you know the the you know and I'll, I'll put them out there's five and there's actually one other one that i'll kind of fill you in at the very end but you know facing the denial you know of of what it is that we're going through because our safety um net has been has been punctured and or cut and we feel like we might be kind of falling through kind of space and time at this point, not really knowing what is going to happen next. And, you know, then comes anger. You know, we're, we're, we're angry that this is happening. Why did this happen? You know, and there, there's, there's a lot of ways you could kind of take that and try to, I, I, I think we learn or we want to blame someone or something or some way, whether that's, you know, our political adversaries or, you know, other countries or whatever it is, we, we, we look to try to blame someone or something for the reason why we are in this now, right? Then you kind of go into the bargaining, like, all right, well, I'm in this now, what can I do here for the next two weeks and then I can get out, you know? But the realization is that you can't, there, there, there's no real end in the time frame of what we have to go through in order to deal with this whole thing. So keep that in mind also that this, this could be a long-term situation and might have to be in this for the long haul and who knows how long that's going to be. So, you know, uh, sadness, you know, and that's really where 
it, it, it comes to just feeling like you're just, there's nothing else you can do and you really become more frustrated and you really are sad because, you know, your, your normal way of life has been kind of taken out and, and there's no real going back to what that is. So, you know, and then, and then the fifth one right now is acceptance and that's just really learning to accept what it is that we are going through and to do what kind of needs to happen. Now there's a lot of speculation in a lot of different aspects of how this is all going to unfold, right? And so that kind of leads me to the next thing is really just the, there's there's three things I want to talk about as far as what you can do right now to really help alleviate the feeling of grief and fear that's going on. So the first one is you got to bring yourself back into the present. And you do that by just kind of thinking about all the things that are going on right now in this moment around you. Like, for example, I, there was a car that just, that just left, you know? It's snowing outside. There's, you know, I, I mean, I'm wearing a, a green sweater, you know? I, I have a hat on. These are the things, the simple things that kind of help bring, bring you back into kind of what it is that is normal um, at this moment in time. You know, like I said, it's snowing, you know, tomorrow it's going to be snowing. And that's as far as I'm really looking into the future. I'm not looking, and that kind of leads me to the second thing, and that's just letting go of everything that you can't control. And this is a big one, just kind of in general for really working on your mindset and really trying to better yourself as a person because you just cannot... You can't really accept or explain, you know, all these things that you you really, really are trying to find solutions for or to help you mentally understand and and deal with on a daily basis. You can't predict the future, so so why why try? You know what I mean? We we do this, we try to speculate just to help give us a little bit of comfort and feeling into what it is that is going on. And then the third one, and I think this is probably one of the most important ones, and that is to be compassionate to your fellow human. And I mean, you know, you gotta build up your compassionate reserves right now to to really help them understand what it's going to take to get through this everyone deals with fear and and grief and anxiety in their own way and it's you know and i see this especially with my conversations with my wife right now is they're all really scared especially my girls too and they are having a really hard time understanding kind of the the severity of what is going on right now so you know having some compassion letting them know that you care that you're there and you know, as, as much as I can, you know, be there. Cause I'm in isolation right now. I can't even be around my family. And I shouldn't say that I, I have been around. I was over by, I was over at the house today, but very, very briefly. And I got to see everyone, which was great. And we were all outside. So, so that, that was a good thing, but I'm, I'm staying in town. I can't even be anywhere near the family right now. So these are the things, you know, just try to be as compassionate as you can to help everything kind of just to, just to help your fellow human out because I think that's really 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 important. And then, you know, there's a fifth there's a well a sixth thing to grief. And I'll put the link up above here or maybe it's on this side here. And I'll also put it in the description below to a, a, a Harvard Business Review um, article that I read that kind of was the basis of this because this this article really helped make a lot of sense to me in kind of how how we kind of un, how we kind of process this massive change that's going on in our daily lives. So, yeah, that's kind of what I was thinking about. If you have any questions, obviously hit me in the comment section below and let me know what you think. Um, and also, just I really appreciate your guys' time and energy into watching the videos. And you know, thank you all. And I will see you on the next video.